Hi, my name is Andy Berry and I'm an application engineer for Nexperia. Today I'd like to talk to you about one of the ways you can blow up a MOSFET. More specifically, how can you blow up a MOSFET when operating in Avalanche? So first let's look to the schematic up here where we have uh, a MOSFET. Always when you see a schematic of a MOSFET you always see this uh, body diode. Now that's not an extra component that's an intrinsic part of when you make a MOSFET. Every MOSFET will have an internal body diode that is the opposite polarity to the MOSFET. And it's this diode that gives you your blocking voltage or your VDS rating for the MOSFET. Now, what happens when you reach the breakdown voltage of this diode is that any current or will flow in reverse through the diode. And this is what's known as avalanche or avalanche conduction. So no longer are you flowing current through the channel, you're flowing reverse through the body diode. Now, to look into a bit more detail of what's happening during avalanche operation, we've got some uh, typical waveforms here. So we'll start off with the gate source voltage. Very simple. Uh, we're turning the MOSFET on with a gate source voltage, then we're turning it off. During the on period, uh, the current can flow through the channel of the MOSFET, and the current in the inductor can charge up. During this time here, we can barely see, but there is a very low uh, VDS across the MOSFET and that's because when the MOSFET's on it has a very low resistance so even though there's current flowing there's only a small amount of voltage. However when we want to turn the MOSFET off uh, which we do here by removing the VGS the inductor wants to maintain current flow that's what inductors do so to do that it creates a voltage across the MOSFET and that voltage keeps increasing until something gives way and that is the body diode the voltage rating of the body diode in the MOSFET. Eventually we reach its breakdown voltage, uh, current can then flow through the body diode and the inductor can discharge its energy. And this energy goes into the MOSFET. So if we have a look at the current and the voltage, we can see that during the avalanche we have both high current and high voltage. Therefore we have a lot of power going into the MOSFET during this time. When you put power into a MOSFET, you will inevitably get uh, a temperature rise or heat and that's ultimately what gives uh, your limit in avalanche operation. You want to make sure that you don't overheat the MOSFET and, and reach its, its failure or critical temperature point. Now if you're using a MOSFET in a, an application where you know avalanche is going to happen you want to know that you're not going to reach that over temperature and to do so what you need to do is you need to look into a MOSFET's data sheet and inside there you'll, you'll find quite a, a chart uh, like this one, which is giving you the safe operating area for when you're working in Avalanche with MOSFETs. So if we take a closer look, uh, on the bottom axis here we have uh, the time spent in Avalanche and on the uh, Y axis here we have the current, the peak current. So what that equates to, back to our waveforms uh, over here, is that that's our peak current, so when we enter Avalanche and then the time in Avalanche is the period where we have the high voltage, the breakdown voltage and current is decaying in the uh, inductor. So if we take a, a look uh, at the chart again, we have a couple of lines and looking first at the uh, one labelled here for a, a junction temperature of 25 degrees. So that's your starting temperature and what that's saying is if you start at 25 degrees and you spend X amount in time in avalanche then you're allowed to go up to a peak current of where the line intersects and then you know you're within the safe operating area. Now, because ultimately it is a, a temperature uh, rating that we are limiting here, we've put a second line in just to illustrate that point and to say if you're starting at a higher ambient temperature, say for example if your application is in the engine compartment, you know that the uh, potential there for the ambient is going to be much higher than 25, then you're going to get a much reduced avalanche capability because it would take less energy to reach that maximum junction temperature rating of the MOSFET. So, as long as you stay within these ratings in the data sheet, you know that the MOSFET will uh, avalanche the energy safely and, and, and continue to operate afterwards. For more information on what I've just talked about today on avalanche and MOSFETs, please visit us at nexperia.com. Thank you for listening.